West Africa is one of the most exciting parts of the world at the moment because the population is growing, the economy is booming, industry is growing, and uh, people are moving to cities. But along with all of this development, of course, you get a lot of air pollution. And uh, air pollution already kills about 500,000 people in Africa every year. And um, it's very, very badly monitored as well. But not only does it kill people, but it also the aerosol particles, which is particles in the air, essentially anything that's kind of solid or liquid suspended in the air, um, gets up into clouds. And then these clouds, you know, if you've got more particles in there, you end up with more water droplets, and each of these droplets ends up being smaller. Uh, so it can affect rainfall, and it can also affect the climate. So it's a big issue. Um, like I say, very little is known about it, and it's not well monitored. So enter DTP science. Uh, last summer, I flew around this area here in this plane and um, measured aerosol properties and cloud properties. And we thought we knew what we were going to see. We were going to see lots of pollution coming out of the cities, so there will be big plumes of aerosol. And then where those plumes of aerosol were, we would see more clouds and we would see, uh, sorry, we would see more droplets in those clouds, but they will be smaller. Um, but in fact, what we saw was surprising. What we saw was that generally across this whole region, the aerosol was fairly similar and the clouds looked fairly similar as well. So we didn't know what was going on. Uh, we scratched our heads. We thought a little bit. Um, but what we thought was, along this part of the world, there's also quite a lot of trees, quite a lot of greenery, and all of these give out something called VOCs, which is essentially very reactive gases. And these gases have been reacting with the uh, gas coming out of the cities. And so what we were seeing was a lot of what we call secondary organic aerosols, and a huge amount of what we were measuring came from this reaction between what's coming from the trees and what's already in the cities, far more than in other parts of the world, because what we have created by putting so many cities along that coastal zone is a kind of chemical reaction powerhouse in the air above West Africa because the temperature is so warm, there's so much sunlight, there's so much in the air already. So all of these reactions happen incredibly quickly and so you get a lot of particles forming in the air itself and they form across the whole region. And uh, of course these are getting up into the clouds and there's so much there and there's so much going into the clouds that um, we can kind of think of them as being a little bit full up so uh, essentially what we're looking at is an idea that we've got all of this pollution coming out of cities, it mixes, it transforms very, very quickly into this secondary organic aerosol, which is the same across the whole region. And um, what we're starting to think is that a lot of the big changes to the clouds in this part of the world have already happened. Uh, so potentially, if <coughs> over the next 30 years or so, the pollution triples as we're expecting it to do, it is quite probable that because so many changes have already happened and because there's so much in the clouds already, we might not actually see as many changes to rain patterns and uh, climate change from the aerosol particles as we might have thought. Thank you.